Hey, welcome viewers. Cooper's Automotive 2010 Chevy Traverse, a 3.6 liter. We got an alternator that was rattling like crazy and not charging. We got an AC compressor that we put dye in it a few weeks ago, and now it's showing dye stains, so the compressor was leaking and it was out of free. We're gonna change both. Um, see how we get this done. Starting, I pulled the tire off already. We're gonna pull the inner fender wheel out. So we got a bunch of little clips right here. So we're gonna take all these clips out. Okay, let's get these clips out. And we're hoping this will let us do it. It calls for actually pulling the radiator out of the vehicle. We're gonna try this. If this doesn't work, then guess what? We're gonna pull the radiator out of the vehicle. I don't have any choice. Sometimes shortcuts are good and sometimes they're just not worth it. All right, you got two Phillips screws underneath the bottom here. I gotta take out. Let's see if this cover comes off of here. Yeah, make some noise for a second. All right. Kind of neat that we're doing an alternator anyway. And a compressor, it kind of makes might make the whole job easier doing the combo like this. Take that to about two. Hopefully, whoops, is there one more in there somewhere? I don't feel anything. Alright, so we peeled the inner fender wheel out. Let's see what we got here. So we've got an alternator right there, an AC compressor right here. It's going to need a belt, I'm going to have to order a belt. I got some parts coming. Um, let's take it up. A little bit. Let's see how this belt comes out of there. It's like a half inch slot in that idler right there. It needs to take a little bit off. Team belt tool. And let it fly. Ready? I'm going to 
go after the AC compressor first, I believe. I hope we can pull it out through the fender well. I just don't know, Byron. It looks like there's 13 millimeter bolts for studs on the compressor. You can probably see them better underneath, right there. lines are on the uh, I've already backed all the freon out of the system if this works it saves a mess of antifreeze everywhere Maybe saves a lot of time. Sticking my arms up in, coming over the top. And Byron's trying to get us a good shot. lines right there too so we'll probably be able to get the lines out coming up over Quarter inch. I have to get them loose. Just gives you more room. And right above this front bolt coming through the compressor is the one I can tell right now. It's a compressor harness plug. Unplug the compressor. So I'm probably gonna reach up there and do that. Here. 
Okay, sign the ticket, please, and keep them off of us. Thank you. I'm... Let's see how that unplugs. Let's see here. Just looking for the release tab. Okay, it's on the back side. That's a 13 on that line and a 13 on the back line. Let's see if we can break those loose. On it. If this works, I'll be a monkey's uncle. Alright? Big Chevy. And tighten up the steering column. Okay. And I discard that line a little bit. I should be able to go over the top and find the other line. Who is going in and out of our door? Hey, we're in production right now. Hold on a minute, please. We're going to pause for station identification. Okay, we're back out in there. Just had to take care of a customer. We got taken out the top bolt of the compressor right here. Sometimes you can turn them by hand for a little bit and they stop on you. It's all right. Okay. Now, let's find out. Everything's unbolted on the compressor. And she's sliding off the studs. It's going that way. We do have the lines off. I do not think it will fit through this here, but we're going to try. Would you look at that? There you go. AC compressor's off, guys. That's the way to do it. I don't know why it tells you to pull the... Uh, well, on the compressor, it doesn't actually. On the alternator, it says pull the... Uh, pull the radiator. Because you're not probably taking the compressor off. If I was doing just an alternator, I'd be evacuating and pulling the compressor off and then doing it this way also. 
even if you have to take the compressor off, you may not. So the alternator's up above that. And that's our next our next bridge to cross. Let's see here. We got an idler pulley on the front. Let's find out what size that is. I can't tell by this is I usually it's like like 17 or something like that on that little one. No, it's your typical 15 on the idler pulley. from here so I'm going to go up to that other hole up top. I have not disconnected the battery yet. I'm going to try not to just to save memories on everything. But if we have to we will. Customer lost their rent money there in a panic. All right, I got that bolt out, but it's just kind of staying right there. It'll probably come out with the alternator once we go up a little bit. I'm gonna lower it. Why we're gonna go through that cubby hole up there in the spinner well. Take a gander at it, right there it is. Let me get the bolts out there. I believe, uh, I believe we probably will take the power out. Let me feel around. That one bolt out right there anyway one and we'll probably take the studs out so that looks like a 15 to me gonna have a stud on the back too I 
think they came back, Byron. That nuts out. I think that's a bracket right there. Yeah, it is. A bracket holding these hoses on. There we go. Now, let's take a look from up top. So there's what we're after. There's the alternator power wire right there. We've got to take that off. Okay. Can you see the stud now? I had it uncovered for about two seconds. So that's a 13. If you be very, 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 very careful, you will be able to get that out of there. Be right with you. All right, we're gonna pause. I gotta go take care of a customer. All right, we're back again, down here. Power wire. I've taken the nut off. That's a 13. Like I said, being very careful. Do not touch anything because I am live on my battery, cover that up back with the rubber on it so that it doesn't touch anything. And then, and you wanna be very careful. Yeah, normally we disconnect it, but we can just pull this up right here. Like I say, just, just help save our memory for everything. Just set it right on top of that rubber. Now, we've got a 15 millimeter on the, right there on our alternator, but we've also got a stud coming through, and that's a 17, a seven millimeter that takes that stud out. Now, I'm going through the fender well, and he's gonna shoot the picture of it right there. I'm gonna take this stud out. I'm about to move through the passenger side fender well. Taking the stud out so that you're able to pull the alternator through this inner fender well cubby hole. One stud. Now we'll loosen our, our 15 millimeter right there. come over you're probably just going to see my arm for a minute okay I actually already loosened it earlier and you've got a bracket right there it's holding either a wiring harness or some poses I haven't looked at closely yet is holding an AC hose. So we pull that down. Now we've got that seven millimeter stud right there. And then you got a plug there that we're gonna take off. As soon as we find out how. Squeeze the tab in and remove that. <clears throat> now I'm going after the stud. All right, my arm's gonna get in the way. You wanna come around that side, Byron? Okay.
Almost there. The whole thing's probably going to drop. You'll have to wait. All right. So, the pulley. Come down to the fender rail. Come down to the fender rail there. You're ready to hang on. All right. So, the pulley fell out. You got the alternator sitting right there. And we're going to take that up through the top. All right, I'm going to take it up. Other pulley that came out. That's that bottom bolt coming through our alternator. And just set this off to the side. This alternator should come out through that hole. I'm gonna take this bracket off. It's a 10 millimeter and a 10 right there. Hercules can pull that alternator up through that hole. I gotta take a break. <laughs> Alright, we're still going strong. I got the bottom idler pulley and bracket 
the alternator is stuck through the top. It's just hanging in there right now. I'm gonna grab it, lower it down, and start this one to balance the alternator in there. Then the attempt will be to put the two studs through, tighten everything up. So let's see how this works out. With the compressor gone, you can get your arm up in here. Lower it down. And... Should be just like that. I'm gonna... Something that you guys can yell at, but you can see I'm kind of in the hole. I just got to get it started. Get it straight and get it started. I believe it started. Can't see a thing. All right, I'm gonna run that one most of the way in. Let me peek at the office, Byron, hold that shot. Amazon delivering goodies. All right, so let me tighten that up. So you got a good shot of that. That nine mile long bolt. I just snugged it a little bit. Now we'll lower the car and go back up top. This is starting to get fun. We'll grab my, well, I'm gonna go right through there and put that one stud in. Right there. So if you tighten up the bottom, line your tops right up. You don't have to fight your studs. We're still waiting on a compressor, so we'll probably get this Hello. bolted in and complete it. Once we get this bolted in and complete it, then we'll stop video. Hello. All right, we did the bottom stud through the fender well and I got the 15 millimeter on that. Now, I've got the top stud already in. That's seven millimeter and tighten that. And then the 15 with this AC bracket right here. I'm leaving that AC bracket off because we're putting a compressor on it. Uh, we can go ahead and we can plug in the electronics on the alternator. And we can go ahead now and we can do our power wire. Again, very careful. All right, now I'm gonna get our bolt for that. I believe it's still going to be a 13. They may have changed sizes on this. Make sure we're looking 
good. All right, I'm gonna tighten that up. And chain sizes on this. You see that? Let's see what they went to. Went to a 12. <clears throat> Just tight. We're in. Put our cover. Back. Put our cover back on it. All right, so we're all plugged in. That's an alternator, one bolt to put in. Now, we can take it up and we can sneak the uh, AC compressor in before I finish this part. We'll grab that. Next thing we got to find out is, did it come with oil filled or do we need to fill it? And we didn't get any instructions on that. So, there's that plug for it that came over the top, the compressor goes in just like that. I got to get some O-rings or gaskets for the lines. They didn't give us those. I am going to go over to the oil drain thing while he's right here. I should just go to the trash can. Let's see if we have oil. I got a little bit, not much. I'm going to drain this. Guess what we got to do? <laughs> We have to pause, I gotta put oil in this, and I gotta go get the pack weight. So, I'll be right back after I have the compressor filled and we'll start putting it on. All right, we're picking up, we got the oil in the compressor, pack 46. I'm gonna stick it up through this hole. And you know what though, before I do that, I'm gonna tighten up that. Tighten up that idler pulley because I got room. I'm not fighting my alternator. Hang in there, guys. <clears throat> okay. So there's your lines, there's your plug. There's my wrench. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. Okay, I've got new gaskets on there already. If you're wondering, we did that 
during station identification. I'm going to take it up a little bit. And let's put the bolts in it. Probably back through here, firing, I guess. Go right there. Is it? I'll try it like that. Is that better? Or is that worse? Good? Okay. So there's that 13 in the bottom right there. It might start in a minute or an hour. Knocked it out. I'm going to the top one right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is it started? I'm lined up. Come on, baby, start. I'm the one that fell. Thank you, sir. There. Yeah, I should be able to. If I didn't lift it so high, I probably could. Start that bolt. So all these are 13s. And I do believe that's the other top AC compressor bolt. Let's see we can start that line real easy and not fight the bracket. We're going to line that up up top and do that and start that one in. So, I'm not going to show the complete tightening all the bolts up, put the belt on, evacuate the air conditioning, um, put the fender well back in, and put your tire back on. But you've got the gist of this one. Um, Easier to do it through the fender well. Like I said, I think the normal for the alternator is to pull the uh, radiator out, but I will always pull the compressor out and evacuate the system. If you do it yourself, or that might be a problem for you. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel, and we'll keep them coming.